the, the topic was assigned to me actually. So um, two years ago, there was a Thomistic Circles conference on, I guess it was on the knowledge of Christ. I don't remember what it was on, but my, my paper was on the knowledge of Christ um, and the acquired knowledge of Christ. And out of that grew the idea uh, to, um, to, to make a, a volume of Nova et Vetera with contributions from a couple of dogmatic theologians and a token exegete. Uh, and so I was asked to, to write on the prophetic, this time to address the prophetic knowledge of Christ uh, in that context. The, the big question here, the, the underlying question, is how to, to make a bridge between speculative uh, theology and speculative exegesis, because that can also be exercised. Uh, exegesis can be exercised in a particular way, um, with the use of, of kind of philosophical distinctions and more classical historical critical exegesis. Um, there, I think one of the basic moves that just needs to be more boldly made is to feel free to use um, certain assumptions uh, of the faith and certain philosophical or metaphysical, Christological, classical, theological distinctions in, in the way that we, uh, that we prosecute our critical exegesis. It's, it's a problem on both sides. Um, dogmatic theologians show a remarkable resistance sometimes to thinking and posing uh, historical questions. Um, so I think uh, there's, there's probably a lot to be learned, um, you know, both from the dogmatic and exegetical side. In terms of the specific uh, topic of, of Christ's knowledge or prophetic knowledge, for me, it's it's a question of texts. Um, there's there's a series of texts that need to be studied very very closely, um, with a lot of minute attention to a lot of difficult problems. And slowly, slowly, you can kind of build the base of a of a stronger theology around what these texts mean. There's no risk in understanding Revelation. Um, we shouldn't be afraid of Revelation. We shouldn't be afraid of what Christ says. I mean, it's. It's a task for us to understand and hear him well. I, I mentioned in, in the lecture this, this moment of the disciples, what is this little time? There's, there's often uh, difficulty in understanding what Christ means, and I point that out as well. But uh, his prophecies are received with a kind of uh, denseness on the part of the, uh, the apostles, and it's perhaps not surprising that it would be difficult for it to penetrate our minds as well. But... I think the, the fundamental thing is don't be afraid of the Bible um, and don't let principles steamroll uh, whatever Christ says about himself, says about the Father, says about the truths of salvation.